pulled some of them. And the next day when I came back, you're all gone. <laughs> Stealing from community gardens. We're hearing from hardworking gardeners who say their gardens have been broken into, their fruits and vegetables stolen. A local mother and son tell their emotional story about bullying in hopes that other families won't let their children suffer in silence. Also, some big delays are coming tomorrow on one stretch of I-95. We'll show you how you can get around that big traffic jam. You did not an uptick in those stealing from community gardens. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. It has been happening around the state now. We're hearing from some local gardeners about this problem tonight. News 8's Bob Wilson live in Hartford with their reaction to the recent thefts. Bob. Yeah, you know, right now as you get ready to go to bed, you're thinking maybe about your garden and the squirrels in there that might be getting at those tomatoes. However, across the state, thieves have been getting into gardens, taking not only corn, but okra and tomatoes as well. I've never complained, but there's a lot of people that has been hit. For James McCoy, growing vegetables in the earth is in his blood. For me, the work is a labor of love. I, I was raised up as a sharecropper down in South Carolina, and this is taking me back home. McCoy has a plot at the community gardens in Farmington. He's there almost every day attending to the tomatoes, the corn, the sweet potato, the okra. But he, like many other gardeners, has been a victim of thieves. Someone stole his collard greens at harvest time. I pulled some of them, and the next day when I came back, they're all gone. <laughs> so I did get some. Stealing from the gardens is more common than you would think, and it happens all around the state. In New Haven, they have 50 different gardens, so to try to discourage thieves, Volunteers plant sections of vegetables that are free to the public to pick. Reggie Levesque shows us his 20-pound watermelon with pride. He takes his own precautions to make sure it doesn't get stolen. I bury them with uh, leaves and all, so I make sure that nobody touched them because uh, we went away, so we came back today and uh, he was still there. And the community gardens across the state, it's an act of love. People come here day in, day out, and they care for the food, and they say if somebody needs some food that badly, they can just come up and ask. That's what the community gardens are about, community. They would gladly give it over to them. We got plenty of food to share with it. If somebody wants something, could just ask it, you know, and no reason exactly. to come and take it, you know. And they say, really, all you have to do, just come to them and ask. Another precaution that some of the towns are doing is they're putting up signs in the garden saying, please walk these gardens. They are uh, planted by your neighbors. Please do not take the fruit, the food if you're interested. They'll provide seeds for you. You can plant them in the garden and become part of the process. But they ask you not to take the food. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.